In today's episode, we are diving deep into the heart of the Nether to transform the largest Nether fortress you have ever seen. Join me as we explore the fortress secrets, uncovering the Piglin Emperor's sinister plan to summon the Wither and unleash its power to conquer the Overworld. Hidden within these walls is the unique legendary Wither armor set, the ultimate prize of Crimson Empire. You can also download this world by joining my membership, where you get access to all my Minecraft maps. So leave a like and subscribe. The countdown begins now. Let's fly over to the fortress. As you can see, it's super close to the city, but that's not all. We have another, smaller one right next to it, with blaze spawners and everything you need. As usual, I'm starting off with the planning. I use colorful wool and glowing blocks so we can see it clearly in the dark nether. In the back of the fortress I added extra builds, planned out the pillars, made the towers bigger and expanded the blaze spawners. Same thing on the other side. I placed a ton of loot and some secrets. In the middle we will have the main mega build connecting the two sides and this is the place for the main storyline. I tell you more about it by the end of the video. We have barracks, farms, prisons, the summoning hall and a lot more here. Next task is the painting. I use these blocks and their variations to replace the planning blocks and later on I've added a more detailed gradient that will contrast the background more. I start the building part with the main entrance of the fortress the small docking area with the elevator. This is how the pigmins enter the fortress, but it's not the only way. I also added nether boots I created in the past. Then I started to work on the walkways, making them wider and more detailed, including the pillars too. Then upgraded the blaze spawners. This is where the piglins get their blaze rods. I continued with the walls, then the towers. I made sure to create a unique design for every tower we have here. These towers protect the fortress from the enemy and you can find some loot and story elements on top of them. Let's continue with the new builds, starting off with the biggest tower, and I love the design of it a lot. Then 
next one is the smaller building. It kinda looks like the church, so we will have a unique shrine in this later on. Then I worked on the staircases and the two towers behind the church, with spiky roofs and hidden loot inside them. On the other side though, I upgraded this area, but then started to work on the barracks. The place for the piglin soldiers. Then the main part of the build, decorating every part of it with unique designs. And here we are, the main entrance to the fortress. I decided to mix it up and created a face on it and lava coming out of the mouth. And then decorated the wall of the fortress with a big place design. On the top I created this unique roof design with some crimson trees. Let's continue with the right side of the fortress, where I created a new nether statue design and worked on the wall details. And on the far right we have the prisons with tinted glass roofs so no light goes inside. And we continue with the top of the building, the two towers where we will find the Emperor's quarters and the summoning hall. I created a really tall tinted glass roof with lots of spikes. We have another curved roof shape on top and I created some flags on each side. I continue to decorate the roof with even more spiky roofs designs and pillars holding everything. Inside the dome I placed three wither schools and filled it with light blocks so we can see them clearly. And with that the nether fortress exteriors are done. Let's continue with the interiors, where I will show you the inside of most of the buildings, but you will have to explore the rest. First one is the church, where our piglins worship their holy gold blocks and their wizard talking to the piglins. Inside the barracks we have a hoglin stable, a main feasting hall, sleeping quarters and a general's room.
in this huge tower we have the main staircases where you will need to parkour if you want to reach the top or you will fall down and die from the dripstone. In the biggest hall of the fortress we have the lava pool that you can find in vanilla fortresses and above it the gas parking next to the walkface so the piglins can ride them whenever they want to leave the place. Of course they will need the nether ward farms too for potion brewing so this is the place where the piglins are harvesting and growing it. Next one is the wither skeleton prisons. I spawned a ton of them with no AI and created this dark spooky place where the emperor is killing them to find three of the most special scores. Inside this tower is the blaze prison. This one might be my favorite. Blaze is hanging all around in small cages and we have a killing area with two super buff piglins as executioners. Also we have a brewing station nearby. The idea was that so many of the blazes died here, their energy created a crack on the building. And the last one is the Emperor's Hall, where he is trying to summon the Wither King. Check out the cinematic to see if he succeeded or not. But with that, the Nether Fortress transformation is done. This is the biggest and most detailed building I made in Crimson Empire yet. So if you enjoyed it, considering liking and subscribing, and the download link will be in the description. But let's enjoy the cinematic and the story of the Sinister Emperor, and I will see you guys in the next episode.